your path lies before me. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? The Divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. Though, I suppose it's not impossible. She must have run off without us. Seems like I'm more reliable than your own people. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Something good here, I hope. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby.
survival isn't such a distant prospect. Need to find a way forward. No traps, please. <clears throat> Open up. Give me trouble now. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. You can try, but first you'll tell me what you know. I saw you on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things... somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Uh -huh. A kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. My, my, you've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? No. Of that much we can be certain. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. 
All right. I accept. Lead on. Keep your distance, darling. Quick step. Is that blood? No, never mind. Very well. There, a mind flayer. And it's hurt. That thing's... You approach the dying gake. The foul thing is at your mercy. And you would have its head. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it, but then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Your mind spews, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. The monster's tentacles twitch. Goblins over there. It's worth checking for supplies, maybe. Here goes nothing. What's going on with that room? You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. We're usually better at this.
a bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nautiloid as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. As a Gith Yankee, it's no news to you that this parasite will soon turn us into mind flayers, an outcome I'd rather like to avoid. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Most, no doubt, but I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. stayed interesting. On my way. Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move. Yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Holy hells. Another one. Play time, I miss her. Amaze. Come, I miss her. Now. Enough gawking. Get me down. Never. <clears throat> Observe and listen. You'll hear goblins or you see them. As you say. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. You will join me. We must find a crash. Our people possess the cure for this infection. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Fill up. Dismiss someone first. Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. 
A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems... interesting. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Look at Yankee joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated. But a welcome one, nonetheless. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? Enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazel is delightful. In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gate! the blade and suffer its sting. Oh, 
good show. worth the cost. the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Good. Damn. They were tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here, other than bloodshed. I just wonder if the grubby little beasts had any friends, and if they're nearby.
There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. That's... that, I suppose. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! Worse. Though, be careful for once. Now that that's settled, we can get to finding him. You acted quickly. I'm just sorry I didn't get there first. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer. 
But he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. Thank you again, if you'll excuse me. First I damn near die at the hands of goblins. Then I get sucker punched by a bloody randomer. I'm done with this hellhole. Those two must have history. Never mind their history. Let's look for help. Time to press ahead. Very well. This is about your precious borders gate. I care about our lives. Well met. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The rich... I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well... As I said, it's a drastic... There just aren't enough supplies to support... Just some bits and bobs I no longer need.